Question four, each shape stands for a number. Now we've got to figure out what the triangles are worth and what the circles are worth and write those in the answer boxes here. So it's a bit like a puzzle this is. Now if you look at the triangles, you can see that we've got three triangles is equal to a total of 96. So if we share 96 equally across the three triangles, then they want one triangle is worth. So it's all about sharing it equally across the three triangles. So if we do 96 shared by 3, or in other words, 96 divided by 3, we'll get what one triangle is worth. So, easiest way to do this is with a bus shelter method, division, short division. So, 3's into 9 goes 3 times, and 3's into 6 goes exactly twice. So actually that's quite an easy one to do. So if you split 96 into 3 equal triangles, you're going to get 32 in each of those triangles. So if this triangle is worth 32, this triangle is worth 32, and this triangle is worth 32, and the 332 gets you back to the 96. So your triangle is worth 32. Now it's a little bit harder to find the value of the circle, but you already know that the triangle is worth 32. So this triangle is also worth 32. Even though it's not in this same column, it's still got to be worth 32 because it's a triangle and all the triangles are worth 32. But what we do know is that this total across the row of the two triangles and the two circles together makes 100. So we've got two triangles in this row and two triangles is going to be 32 plus 32, which is 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 3 is 6. So these two triangles together make 64. So if we then subtract 64 from 100, which you can probably do in your head, and it comes to 36, if you can't do it in your head, we can have a look here. So zero to take away four, you can't do. So you need to borrow from a zero. You can't borrow from a zero. You need to borrow from the one, okay? If you borrow from the one, you end up with zero there, and this will turn into 10. But you still can't do this zero to take away four. So you cross out the ten and make that into a nine, and make this zero into a ten. Now we can do it. So ten take away four is six. Nine take away six is three. Not nothing take away nothing. It's still nothing. So it is thirty-six, like we just said. So if you take your sixty-four off the total of this row, which is a hundred, you're left with thirty-six. But these circles aren't thirty-six each. It's the two circles together must be worth 36. So if the two circles together are worth 36, if you do half of 36, you'll figure out what one circle is. Well, half of 30 is 15, and half of 6 is 3. So if you add those together, half of 36 would be 15 and 3, which is 18. So each of these circles must be worth 18. Just as a quick double check, you could actually add all of this together to make sure it makes 100. So 32 plus 18 plus 18 plus 32. Let's have a look, check it makes 100. 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Put the 0 in, carry the 2. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So actually, yeah, it does come to 100. So the 18 and the 32 are correct, so we can tick those because we know it's all correct because we've checked it.